what's up family just got done working for the day you know man I can honestly say that I am so very grateful and humble by how far I've come in my life you know I've I cleaned houses, worked my butt off, worked in nurses homes, um, done, done all kinds of hard work. And I still clean houses on the weekend for two people when I took my state position. I remember when I got the job offer five years ago, one of the ladies I cleaned for was, she was kind of like a Debbie Downer. She was one of those people that just doubted everything. You know, I, she didn't think I could handle the job basically put me down in, in a nutshell saying you know well you know I don't know that you can do that or you know be there or be dependable and you know here I am five years later still trying to work my way up but I'm happy with my job and the two ladies that I kept on the weekends to clean are like family to me um, I just couldn't quit on them guys and but anyway the woman I clean for today is literally like She's like a grandmother to me, but like more of a best friend. Um, last week I was walking and my shoes broke at work. And a lot of times I don't have a lot of money when it comes to buying myself stuff because I have two children and I have a family, so my family comes before me. And as I was working today, she stopped me and I usually have to go to the grocery store for her and get some stuff and she wanted me to stop and buy myself a pair of shoes. And I said, well, you know, I can't pay you back right now. And she didn't ask for me to pay it back. She said, as hard as you work and everything you've done for me all these years, she wanted to help me. And just for someone just to tell me how proud they are of me and to acknowledge how far that I've come, she's amazing. Um, I teared up, she filled up my tank for me, she bought me shoes for work. See, at the state, you can't just wear like regular shoes, you can on Fridays, but the rest of the week you have to like dress presentable or whatever, so I don't know why I do, I don't work with the public, I work in a cubicle, I work behind a computer all day, but that's besides the point, I still needed some shoes. And last week when my shoes broke, it was raining and I was having to walk all crazy. And, you know, just to know that I don't have to worry about that next week. I've got two pairs of shoes to wear. I'm just um, blessed to have such good people in my life. And I know all of this couldn't be done without the Lord. The Lord has blessed me with the right people in my life. And, you know, he's took people out of my life, too, that, you know, just didn't belong or were going to hinder me on my path with him. And a lot of those people hurt me, but when I look back on it, it's like, you know what, I have such peace about it now. And I don't hate them. I don't wish them harm. I actually pray for them. I hope that these people will come around someday and, you know, acknowledge that they were wrong. But if not, that's fine. They're still going to have to meet their, you know, meet their creator someday. And my friends, God has just handled so much. I, I can't even begin to stress to you how much he's done for me. Like, I, I'm amazed every day by it. But, um, I just, I had to come on here and just tell you guys, don't give up. You know, even if you're going through hard times and things don't seem like they're going to happen or come through for you, just believe that they will. If you really, really believe in your heart that God's going to see you through some trials and tribulations and through anything, he will you got to believe in that. You can't just pray for things and then have doubt in what God can do in your life. He loves his children, and he will provide for his children, and he works through people. And, you know, Miss McReynolds, she told me I've done so much for her, but at the same time, she's done so much for me to help me. And I will always be grateful to her, guys. You just have no idea. Um, being a single mom and working as hard as I've worked all these years, um, I'm, I'm surprised sometimes by myself that I've gotten as far as I have. But don't give up. Even if you're just working some dead-end job to where you feel like you're not getting anywhere, don't give up. Keep working hard. Like my mother used to tell me, hard work pays off, and it does. People notice that you're trying. So as long as you're trying and you're giving it your all, not only do other people see that, 
but the Lord sees that and he's going to help you. So don't get discouraged. You know, there's a lot of times I feel like, you know, I'm meant to do more. And I still believe like I'm meant to do more than just sitting at a desk, you know. And I'm going to let the Lord lead me. But right now, I have been blessed with a decent job that pays my bills. I may not always have a lot of money to do extra things with, but I have a roof over my head. Um, the power is on. I got food on the table. And I know little by little, the more and more I work and hopefully pass the state test, I will get a promotion and, and things will get better and better. But right now I'm just content. Because even 10 years ago, I wouldn't have imagined that I'd be where I am today. So look at it like that. You may not exactly be where you want to be today, but that doesn't mean that there are not better days coming. You just got to believe in that, my friends. I love you, family. Um, I hope y'all have a blessed weekend. Stay safe, okay? And just... You know, praise the Lord, man. Smile. If you're alive today and you're breathing, you still got a chance. You still got a chance to get it right.